Eyewitness Sports right now. Utica Comet's got a breath of fresh air today because for the third, just the third, and now the final time this season, Utica played a team other than the Rochester Americans or Syracuse Crunch. Binghamton Devils visited tonight. Utica won the one other game against the Devils in a shootout back in February 6-5. Both teams 2-8 and eight over their last 10 games, but for the Comets that goes back to February most of the season. The Devils slowly brought that puck end-to-end -end in period two, then a pile in the paint the puck in the back of the net. So Binghamton celebrates, but that first goal was waved off. So no score, and that's because there were those players in the paint. The Devils specifically blocking Hofer. Still no score. The Devils on the attack again, and this one goes toward the net. Hofer stops it again. The whistle is blown, but the Devils are arguing. Chippy game right there. Did you see Curtis McKenzie with the elbow? Almost starting a fight. Um, it, there were so many fights already. One of them already by Tyler Tucker, who basically tackled the player at one point. And then still with no score in the end of the th uh, second period, the Comets turns around and Tanner Kaspik right there gets his first goal of the season. Then we go into the third. Mitch Ranke going from his backside, and then that's right through the middle into the back of the net. A power play goal now. His second goal of the year adds some insurance. Utica had a couple five-on-three penalty kills to fight off, and they did with Hofer's health. And Utica went... Uh, Nine for nine on the PK. Then with the man down there, Will Lockwood in the right place at the right time scores his first professional goal. Joel Hofer made 41 saves for the shutout. Utica was outshot 41-18, but it's the big number on the scoreboard that matters. Hofer earned his second AHL win, and as much as he helped his defense, his defense helped him. Like I said, Comets went nine for nine on the PK. And Utica only had two man advantages itself, scoring on one of them. So the defense was key tonight. An even strength goal, a power play goal, and a shorthanded goal. All three ways you can score, except for the uh, you know, penalty shot. And in overtime, get the job done. Utica was struggling when it first came back from COVID-19 protocols. But now the Comets say they finally looked back to full strength. You know, we're in deep. I thought when we go to Providence, you get uh, four hours there. It's freezing cold. We're in tough for the guys to get going, you know. And, uh, but I just thought, uh, thought tonight was just gutsy. Just a, a great effort, uh, great effort by our PK guys. Like you said about Joel, how, how strong he was. But I thought some guys really had some, like, probably their best games that I've seen. Yeah, I felt good today. I mean, um, you know, my tracking was well. There's lots of things that, uh, you know, all was good. I mean, um, like I said, I can't, can't uh, ignore the team effort. We played great tonight. And, um, you know, PK was great. There was, we, uh, you know, in the first, there was the four minute, which was huge. And then, um, you know, got going on. You know, from then, then on, but uh, yeah, obviously, obviously, felt really good, and you know, glad we got the win. Like I said, I thought it was, you know, probably the most complete team win we've had so far of the year, and you know, we got outshot a lot, but you know, Hope was, you know, cool and collected in the net, so I think that's where, um, you know, he kind of led the way there, being calm in the net, so it didn't really seem like they were getting great A opportunities, but that was just because he was making some huge stops for us. Cole also said he thinks players like Hofer, Lockwood, Tanner Kaspik were all role players who brought, quote, their work boots kind of attitude tonight. Comets are now three and four since returning from COVID-19 protocols. That's enough to keep them above 500 and right in the middle of the North Division standings by points percentage. You can next plays Friday at Rochester.